Daniel, and I'm a little sister in the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program. And I've been in this program for eight years now. And in those eight years, I've learned and experienced a lot with my mentors. And <clears throat> some of the things that the mentors taught me were like respect and discipline and giving a helping hand to other people in need. And all the mentors in my life have all brought something different to the table, like um, education or just lending a helping hand to anybody that needs it. And every one of them have helped me become the person that I am today. My big sister Sally and I have done so much together. Ever since the first day I met her at McDonald's on 2nd and Broadway, I was shy. But she's helped me um, break that shell and become more expressive and do things outward like and be myself. And um, growing up, I always used to see kids like disrespecting teachers and parents and everyone else. And because of peer pressure, I didn't want to get in the way of any of them. So I just ignored it and thought, whatever, I guess it's okay. But the mentors in my life have taught me that it's not okay and you have to do something about it. And you can't be like um, all those other kids doing the wrong thing. So that's another reason why the mentors have taught me how to be the young lady I am now. Okay. Okay, because of these mentors, I was able to travel to different states for example, with Big Bro with um, Black Achievers Association, I was able to go on a college trip and do different tours that I usually wouldn't be able to do on my own. And that really opened up opportunities for me and um, as well as many other experiences like traveling to states I've never been to before. And my big sister, Sally, she, she takes me and to new things like we, I tried Thai food for the first time and other ethnic foods and it, it was awesome <laughs> and some of the things that I've done with her include like artwork such as paintings and paper crafts and we occasionally go to the park and get exercise and um, there was also one big, big brothers and big sisters event that we went to it was sort of like a fair at their main building and I got to wrap her arm in a cast and sign it. <laughs> and um, that day was really fun. And then um, I remember that every Christmas, her husband Sam, he's also a big brother, and his little, we always come together at her house and we make cookies and we take pictures, like silly pictures and fun pictures that we keep every year. And. Um, that kind of is like a tradition that we have. And we also, I remember we also um, go to different museums and, and, and go on treasure hunts. I remember we went on a treasure hunt together and um, she allowed me to do things that I've never done and I never thought I would be doing. Like um, we went canoeing on a river, like kind of river rafting type thing. And um, she took me to concerts like Bruno Mars and Demi Lovato. And um, it was my first time going to like real life concerts and it was like a really good experience for me. And um, right now, since I've been with her so long, I really consider her as family. Like the things that she does and what she's taught me has really made me feel like she's a real big sister. Like we're like bloodline family. That's what I feel like for this whole time. And like the reason I'm saying this, cause like, We've been through a lot of time together. We've laughed together. We've even cried together. And she's just taught me so much. And I really feel like she cares for me like a big sister would. And for that reason, I'm really happy to be a part of this program, the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program. And everyone in this program feels like family to me. Like whenever you walk into the room, they're always smiling and greeting you and they put a smile on your face. And um, everyone really supports youth and pushes them to doing greater things. And they've given me like resources and um, opportunities that come, in hand, that come in handy in my life. And one thing that I remember I really like about this program is the family fun nights that they always have like every other month. There's always something different like yoga and arts and crafts and we also had like um, this music production thing where my family and I, we uh, 
we made a little song and they recorded us and they asked the big brothers and big sisters asked if they wanted us to put it on their page so we got that <laughs> on their page it was fun and it, I felt like a professional music maker and and last summer um, we did a big brothers and big sisters bash it's like a big swimming pool party there was like food and music and friends and family could come and I had a really good time um, and to me Mentors are like the people that guide you in the right direction and care for youth. And if mentors didn't care for youth, I think maybe the kids my age would probably think like, is it me? Is like something wrong with me? Or is it become I'm worthless? Because I feel like that's how I would think if I didn't have anyone that cared about me. And because to not have someone care about you, especially someone you, you came to know, would feel very horrible. Um, youth today really need someone who cares about them, someone who could like lead them in the right direction. Because some kids today don't even have someone, that one person they could just talk to and talk about their feelings and go to them whenever they need help. And I think that every one of today's youth like needs someone like that in their life. Even if it's just one person, because having even just one mentor in your life can change you forever. And that is why mentors should care and more people should become mentors. Because if they don't, then who will? And the last thing that I want to say is being involved in this program and other mentoring programs has driven me to do my best in what I do, even in times that I really didn't think I could do anything great myself. And it's all because of having people that care about me and my life.